Genesis has not been lazy. They've been popping out the third generation G90 in just five years. And Genesis is interesting to me. This is one of these brands that really found their design identity the last couple of years. And the new G90 here is no different. So what I wanna show you is the transition from the first G90 from 2017 to the 2020 model. And now we have a brand new one just two years after the previous one, which is the 2023 model. It's been launched in Korea. It's gonna come to the US as a 2023 model year. And I wanna show you the, the design in front, side and rear, and just let you know what I think about this model. So the reason I'm so passionate about car design and why it takes up so much of my time and energy is for most people, cars are just that. They're cars, they're just something that will transport you from one point to the other. But to me, cars are so much more than that. They're kind of an extension of who you really are. You visualize it by the car you select to drive in and more importantly cars to me even though the, even the basic cars are still kind of like sculptures on wheels that we get to appreciate in our everyday lives I remember when I was a kid I used to think it was so cool I still do today to just look at cars and the, as they go on the highways and the, you see this sculpture these capsules containing life just transporting you to whatever your next destination is you have this stream of a fading red lights just disappearing into the night and that's that's just stuck with me since I was a kid and I really like the idea that uh, each brand has a different identity just by looking at the design it's been lacking the last few years and car manufacturers there a lot of them have really struggled to find their identity but last I would say last five years or last uh, three years or so specifically Korean South Korean companies are really hammering in their design identity and really finding themselves in this ocean of uh, car design Design, specifically Genesis and also Kia which I want to talk about in another video well, let's have a look at the G90 here from a front view so up here we have the 2017 model I think it's crazy that they uh, they, they made three models in basically in five years so that means that when this came out in 2020 the design director said to the designers hey well, I know we just launched the 2020 but what we're gonna do now is just jump on and get started with the 2023 model to have that out right now and you can see that down here beautiful Beautiful design. So let's have a look at this. So Genesis to me has always, um, or, or at least in the last, uh, I would say the last decade or so, they've always been really great at making good looking sedans. They just look stately. And this 2007 model up here, this one to me looks even better than the majority of uh, full size sedans that come out today as a 2022 model. It looks very clean, super clean lines, and it knows what it is. It doesn't try to be something else with with massive overstyling, and it has that right kind of luxury presence that you want from a full-size sedan. So look at the line flow here. We have this shoulder line, very sharp shoulder, going into the hood right here, and we, we're starting to see the the kind of uh, the embryo of uh, what the front fascia of today's Genesis look like here, with this big, almost triangular grille right here, and simple headlights like this that just work well with the overall graphics in the front end. Looking at the side we do have one line that separates this from other brands and that is this line right here we have it going from the rear into the side and then you see that it goes up right here so we have this little crease in the body of the car that separates it and creates a little bit of identity for Genesis because right now Genesis is also one of these brands that if you look at the smaller models and compare it to the bigger ones you can definitely see that the smaller mo smaller models are way more stylized than the bigger ones and that's something we've talked about numerous times here on the channel that uh, the, the larger the the vehicle that you're creating within the brand the more restrained you want it to be you want it to be more of a architectural design when you come up to this full-size sedan compared to the smaller size sedans where you can have a lot more fun as a designer so moving on to the 2020 front view here I'm gonna show you these in side view and rear view as well there's a lot of interesting details going on here you can see that this now now we have a completely unique design to this uh, both the graphics and the proportions and the wheels as well I love these wheels right here I've um, seen comments that people don't really like these wheels but I think it's really hard to design wheels that go well with the overall design of the car I think this is one of the best examples of wheel design fitting the overall design of the rest of the car here in the 2020 model G90 and I also love the fact that we have uh, in, in this case we have this one line going across the entire uh, car when it comes to the graphics you have this one LED strip today as 
as we know with the concept X, for example, they showed us that they're really gonna hammer in the two line design with the graphics of the light for the future gen Genesis. And we're starting to see that on the SUVs as well and the smaller sedans. And that's what happened with the new G90, which we're gonna have a look at in just a second here. But this is like an art deco piece to me. If the mayor of Gotham City were to be transported around in a vehicle and have his uh, like work vehicle, I think the G90 here, this one would be the perfect vehicle for that. For that. This is, this has some, you know, New York Empire State feel to it. And I don't know why, but it feels like it's an architectural approach to the design. Of course, it is the biggest uh, sedan that Genesis produces. So it needs to have that stately presence. And I think they did it very well with this. And this could still work today. It's such a young model for them to just replace it with the 2023 model. But I'm not complaining because if we look at how beautiful the 2023 model is, I made a video on the Concept X and how much I loved the overall stance, the proportions of that car, and that in combination with the simple graphics that we have in Genesis today that really hammers in the identity of the brand. You, you can't mistake this for anything else than a Genesis when you see this at night, specifically now that we have the two lines here instead of the one that we have in the previous generation up here. We now have two lines going across the entire vehicle graphically and that is with the lights. And if we look at the shoulder line, a very clean shoulder line right here, dipping into the hood, going into the hood right here and into the graphics. And we also have another line right here going in here, but the rest of the body is super clean. And they say that we're not gonna have the V8, the five liter V8 in this generation. Instead, what they're gonna release is probably a full EV out of this shape. And when you look at this shape, it looks almost EV ready to me, meaning it doesn't have a lot of uh, lines and creases going on in the side. It looks very sleek, like it could be an EV if we just cover up this grill and then we could have almost like an EV design here already. But it will come with the 3.5 twin turbocharged V6 and it will develop about 375 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque and that will be connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission. You will have all-wheel drive as an option here. This engine seems to be the same 3.5 liter that, they, that you find in the G80. This, as I said, is the uh, what we see here on these pictures are the Korean spec, but as I said, the US spec will be nearly identical. So on the interior here, you have two 12.3 inch displays. One is for the digital, digital instrument cluster, and the other one is for the infotainment system. There's also a 23 speaker system available with the Bang & Olufsen audio system. And if you look up inside on the interior, the new G90 has two panoramic sunroofs with ambient lighting. And this G90, as I said, will go on sale here in the US in 2023 and it's it's probably going to start around $80,000 is my guess and that's based on the strategy that we see from Genesis uh, previously and that is to bring massive value while still staying just below the price point of its main rival rivals which in this case is the Audi A8 the BMW 7 series and the Mercedes S class so it's coming in 2023 and I can't really I can't wait to see this beauty out on the street specifically in this white design I think it looks very beautiful. Let's have a look at the side view here real quick before we jump into the rear view. I want to show you the key lines here that uh, went in the first two generations and that kind of was um, taken away in this new 2023 uh, GV90. So that is this line right here as we talked about. You have this going up here and this is shooting up like this. You have it in the body right here. You have it a little more subtle in the uh, 2020 model right here but it's still here. So it still has some identity of the original G90 up here. But if we look at the new generation right here, it's totally gone. So it's even simpler. They keep simplifying the the, the, the shape, the, the, the surfacing of the car, but they keep hammering in the graphics of the car. And that's also something that we talked about numerous times here on the channel, how that is going to be probably the approach of a lot of different, different brands moving forward, just to simplify the proportions and the styling while kind of making the graphics be the main part in which in how you can tell the brands apart so here if you're looking at the side view here we have this one line of uh, the previous generation that doesn't really come back in the taillights here but if we look at the new g90 we have the two lines right here and then they go back into the taillight here as well so i like that it wraps around the entire car this as you can see is the extended wheelbase i don't think this will come to the us i think we will only get the uh, the normal size or the normal wheelbase of the g90 but you can see that this is long 
one wheel is just by looking at the massive uh, <laughs> rear door or passenger door here just how long this is compared to the the, the normal size or the normal wheelbase uh, g90 is above it now last but not least let's have a look at the rear view here and you can see that the first uh, g90 I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the first g90 that came out in 2017 in my, uh, 2017 it might be some earlier ones but this is the one uh, that I'm focusing on right now as the first one you can see that this look it's a clean design and as I said with these LEDs right here this could still work as a uh, proper sedan today from G90 and a modern looking uh, car it looks great I've always loved these designs I think they look massive and uh, not massive in a bad way but they look uh, solid they look planted this reminds me of the old Mercedes S classes that has this bossy presence and this one and then compared to this it now became a lot more sleeker because we have the taillights being more horizontal in the in the next generation from 2020 but it at the same time you have a lot more identity in this design that you have in the previous one from 2017 right here very classy very elegant very art deco approach to this design and then we come into the brand new one right here and I absolutely love the rear end of this design because it looks so chiseled and it looks so clean you have this beautiful sharp line here as the bumper and then you have this beautiful line right here as well that creates this uh, ducktail a nice send-off of this design when you have this uh, sharp and crisp line that kind of sends the entire car off if you look at it in a side view right here and then the overall graphics it's just a simple approach to design you can see that there are so many horizontal lines here which will emphasize the width of the car so it will make it look wider and I also prefer that this line that we have in the previous generation that went up like this at the, at the end you can see that it just shoots up when you look at the graphics right here I do prefer that they now go down here instead and follow this line all the way down into the wheel well right there and of course look at these two beautiful sharp lines that create the shoulder of this car you have this a little slope down in the on the top part of the shoulder line which creates almost like a Rolls-Royce style of the slope of the of the tail end of this car and it looks very elegant and it brings it it gives it a forward motion when you look at it from a side view when it's even standing still very cool designs by Genesis and to finish this off I think Genesis is one of these brands now that are really thriving with their design and they really know what they want to create and I think that's why they decided to, <laughs> to release uh, three different G90 designs completely different generations in just fi a five years time span because they really have this new idea of what they want to be and I think it all going to stem from the concept X and that type of proportions and the graphics and that's what we see here in the G90 as well the same kind of uh, approach to design to have simple surfacing with just a key line sharp lines to build up the design and that's also the same approach that I think a lot of other manufacturers are going to follow